Intelligence has discovered that the American ambassador to West Germany, Morris Monroe, is marked for execution by an organization calling itself H-A-R-M, or HARM. The assassination attempt is expected to come on the last day of Monroe's upcoming holiday in Morocco as he is leaving his hotel. There will likely be multiple assailants. It is imperative that Monroe survive the attack. Be warned, though, that the ambassador is extremely nearsighted and almost deaf, so you won't be able to rely on him to realize that he's in danger. You will be positioned in a residential building across the street from the hotel. Your job is to pick off the assassins before they liquidate Monroe. Immensely. Sure you're not bored? I've waited nearly four years for this chance. I think I can endure another half hour. Good girl. You're growing up. What do you make of all that talk of a traitor? It wouldn't be the first time we've had leaky plumbing. Still, it's disquieting to say the least. It's happened before? Once. A few years ago, we lost several undercover operatives in Istanbul. It turned out they'd been compromised by their chief's very own administrative assistant sold us out for a measly 50 quid. 50 quid? Astonishing, isn't it? Trading men's lives for such a pittance. But spies are rarely well compensated for their treason. I wouldn't be surprised if this new mole is equally underpaid. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. And maybe a boot up his arse for good measure. You sound ready to volunteer. I'm dangerous when I'm upset. That's why you're always in trouble. All right. Munro's headed for the cafe. Watch for him on the second floor patio, coming from the left. What about the targets? Not sure yet. Pardon me. Uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime. The time. Don't get snippy with me, or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Coward! Would you like me to call out the targets for you? Where's the challenge in that? I just hope there are enough to keep me busy. You may regret that sentiment. I want to go home. But we've only been here for two days. I don't like it here. Why not? It's so foreign. Well, it is a foreign country. I know that. But Canada is a foreign country, too. Isn't this foreign? But I thought the reason you wanted to come here was that it is so different. Yeah. Why don't you try to relax and enjoy yourself? I'll bet you have a lot of fun if you just stop worrying. You think so? Sure. Maybe you're right. Of yes, course I'm right. It. Let's walk time? down to the Medina and see some sights.
there must be a hole in my pocket. my signal. Oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon. You'll cause a commotion. I locked myself out again. How irritating. I heard he plans to marry the American girl. You mean the girl who refuses to wear shoes? Yes, her. I wonder if all American girls despise shoes. It seems very strange, but America is a strange country. She may be crazy, but she is attractive. Ah, but you're invariably attracted to crazy women. All women are crazy. <laughs> Shh, not so loud. Thank you for your help. I'm in position. Good. He's almost there. Lost yourself a customer. This guy is too much. Not again. Where are you, you pesky little dime? I'd better find it quickly before the thieves swoop in like vultures. I was standing right here. A little humility might suit you. I'm teasing. We make a pretty good team. Damn, they must have spotted you. There's a group of thugs heading your way. How many? Looks like six of them. Can you handle it? 
Of course I can. I'll meet you at the hotel in an hour. All right. Take care of yourself. First, I'm going to take care of some evildoers. Oh, be sure to check the mail before you.